Hi, welcome to Vitamin Junkies. I'm Jennifer Lyle. Uh, I'm Dr. JJ. And we have a special guest with us today, horticultural therapist Nancy Lee Kolobaba from, the, from the Royal Botanical Gardens. The RBG. Mm -hmm. Today we are going to be talking about horticultural therapy, but before we get into that, we are going to see what Dr. JJ is taking today. Okay, uh, today I'm taking one of the gifts from the plant kingdom. So I'm taking a nifty little vitamin C. Uh, vitamin C is great, uh, a number of wonderful properties, it's an antioxidant, it's got mm -hmm. anti-cancer properties, uh, helps prevent scurvy, for those of you who are prone <laughs> yes. to scurvy. Um, also what was interesting, what they found is that if you take a very little dose, as little as 100 milligrams a day of vitamin C, it prevents the onset of cataracts mm -hmm. um, by about 10 years, which is interesting, and also cataract surgery is very expensive. So for those of you who don't know, cataracts are these little cloudy things you get on your eyes and interfere with your vision. So some interesting stuff. Vitamin C, down the hatch. Very good. So mm -hmm. I take 600 milligrams of that every day. Does that mean that I will never get cataracts? <clears throat> I'll have to verify the scientific validity of that. <clears throat> Moving right. along. Nice thought. <laughs> nice thought, though. Good thinking. Okay, Nancy, can you tell me what exactly is horticultural therapy? Well, horticultural therapy, or plant therapy as it's also been called, is using plants or plants' activities to improve quality of life. Uh, so that, uh, again, whatever your abilities are, and we always emphasize on abilities and not your disability, uh, to improve your ability okay. or maintain your ability. Uh, so, again, it can be used in many different ways. So what are some examples of how the Royal Botanicals are using this type of therapy? Well, when I'm um, going out to service various facilities, it's mainly geriatrics. So I go to long-term care facilities mm -hmm. and uh, work with individuals that have a keen interest in plants. And most of them had been gardeners or were farmers, so they're more than willing to come and learn more about the plants because they can relate to them on different levels. And when we're working with them, we're um, you know, maybe mixing soil. It's working with their fine motor skills, their gross motor skills. Uh, they're being educated. They're learning new things about the plant that they might not have known. I'm always doing a, a quiz with them to keep their mind active uh, because on the course of a day they may not have to think too much other than oh look it's noon it's lunchtime right. so getting their mind active and uh, making them think of past experiences or whatever so it's really really beneficial uh, for the client without them really knowing it they come out just to have a really good time and that in itself is a benefit but then I'm always working with them on their memory fine motor skills gross motor skills eye hand coordination uh, getting them to uh, express their opinion on the plant or any information that they have to share about the plant and many of them do Wow. That's great, and you it probably is. have a great social aspect too, right? Because it they're is. doing it with their neighbors. They're, they're doing it with their neighbors. People. Yes. Because many seniors are widowed. Uh, exactly. So, on, right? so it's exactly. nice to have that social interaction. It's hard to meet people as a, as a senior. So that's it, great. It is. That's and very it's, good. it's really rewarding, you know, because they're teaching me a lot. I never go in and with the emphasis that I know it all, let me teach you. It's like, I've got some information to share and I want to learn from you as well. And they love that, you know. Yeah. Let me tell you about the best tomatoes I grew when oh, I was in my great. own home. Fantastic. So it's wonderful. Do you grow truffles? I haven't heard of anyone growing truffles, but <laughs> I'm sure there's someone out there. It's a business in there, we should talk. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll talk about truffle now, business. There are some different institutions that are using this as part of their normal programming, is of that course. correct? Yes, it's becoming quite, uh, you actually become a horticultural therapist through education. Uh, down in the States, they have uh, university courses to become a horticultural therapist. So you're on the same level as an occupational therapist or physiotherapist. But many different facilities are learning the benefits of it. Um, Homewood Health Center in Guelph, it's a mental health uh, facility and they're using it. In Penetang, uh, their mental health facility, they have a, an outdoor gardening program and they're more of a vocational, so teaching job skills and things like that children's facilities, uh, any physical disabilities, uh, they're using horticultural therapy because they're finding it's an easy um, program to get people interested. And once you're interested, that's half the battle. 
Mm. Yeah. Cancer facilities too. Of as course. A of, of in course. Your, yes. And incorporate work with plants. Well. Uh, again, with someone with a cancer uh, that's in a cancer facility, it's often uh, more of a peace garden or a tranquil garden, so that or a healing garden, so that when they're making very important decisions, there's a garden or an area that you can find a little bit of solace, a little bit of peace, so that you're in a better frame of mind to make those very serious decisions. And also it's beneficial when you're going through the treatment to be surrounded by plants, you're in a calmer state of mind to be able to handle the, the chemicals that are going through your body, especially with radiation or, or chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there's some really exciting initiatives that are going on with the Royal Botanical Gardens. Can you share a little bit about that? Uh, with the horticultural therapy or yes. on other levels? Well, at the Royal Botanical Gardens we're doing a lot of educating for people that are interested in horticultural therapy as a career. Uh, it might be that they're a recreational therapist or an occupational therapist and wants to, want to use it in their practice. And so we're teaching them sort of the plant side of it so that they can mirror the health side and the plant side into their, their workplace. And then the people that are just generally interested but don't really know enough about it, so we're providing that education. It's a certificate program that we're offering so that they can use it towards their volunteer certification through the Canadian Horticultural Therapy Association. And there's a really neat initiative in Chile that you were sharing with me as well. Yes, I just returned from Chile. Uh, they too are starting up a, an association because again, uh, there's the American, there's the Canadian, but because of the language barrier, uh, the Canadian and the American won't uh, certify them because any information that comes to them is in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So they decided to start their own. So I was down there uh, training and teaching individuals that are working towards their volunteer certification with the Chilean Association. So it was exciting. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's it's fantastic. fantastic. Well, thank you so much for showing us or teaching us a little bit more about horticultural therapy. You're very welcome. Uh, for anybody who is interested in learning more about this, you can go to the Royal Botanical Gardens website, www.rbg.ca. And if you wanted to find out more about uh, having a program, horticultural therapy course, yes. I guess, or session at mm -hmm. your facility, you can contact Nancy at 905-527-1158 and my extension is 510. I'd love to hear from you. Fantastic. Thank you. Perfect. so. Thank you so much for joining us. And I encourage you to visit our website where you can join the addiction and subscribe to our video podcasts. And while you're there, take a look in the show notes and you'll see a link to a survey. We want to know a little bit more about you. And for everyone from North America who takes a survey, you'll be entered into a chance to win a great prize pack from Hey Jute. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Lyle. I'm Dr. JJ. I'm Nancy Lee Kolababa. <laughs> and continue the addiction to good health. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do